Welcome everyone, my name's Ali A and this is going to contain so much Call of Duty Black Ops 4 blackout information. Your minds will be blown. We'll be covering the complete map. We'll be covering armor items, healable items, weapons, vehicles, zombies, and yes, even Nuke Town and all of this information relating back to the blackout mode which is Call of Duty's very first ever battle royale mode. It will be going into beta this coming Monday. It's only a few days away if you want to see first gameplay of it and obviously first place finishes. Make sure you subscribed and sit tight my friends as we have so much information to talk about. It is so exciting and I cannot wait to share this all with you. In the background here you're going to see some Black Ops 4 beta gameplay from a mode that was in the beta just towards the end. A heist mode which includes taking down other players, uh, reviving your own teammates, and taking a cash to a drop-off point. This is the first time I ever played it, and I did really, really well, so enjoy the gameplay in the background. And for all of you guys that love my Fortnite videos and haven't really seen me play Call of Duty, I've been playing Call of Duty for years and years, and I'm excited to try out all the Battle Royale games that come out this year. So that's Battlefields, Call of Duties, and obviously Fortnite I'm not going anywhere with, do not worry, but the more Battle Royale games, the better, and this one is exciting. So first First up, we're just going to jump into the big information, and that is the map itself, officially tweeted out by Call of Duty with named locations. Take a look on screen here, guys. This is it. Now, yes, my first thoughts were that this looked very much like a PUBG map in terms of the coloring, but obviously it's going to have all Call of Duty locations, including, that's right, Nuketown Island. Let's just take a look at all of the named locations for a second here. Uh, we've got estates, construction site, array, cargo, fracking tower, factory, turbine. Some of these will be zombies maps actually integrated into the map, some of them multiplayer maps. And I I want you guys to leave a comment down below where will you be landing the very first time you play blackout in black ops 4 for me i'm going new town island i'm i know it's going to be crazy it's basically going to be the equivalent of tilted in call of duty but i do not care i cannot wait to land there we've actually got an image on screen here of our very first look at new town island it is essentially the new town map but actually nuked this time like it's pretty much destroyed and fun little easter egg there'll actually be a player count number in Nuketown, which will actually tell you how many people are currently on Nuketown Island, which is a nice little easter egg. So much more information to dive in here, but I knew you guys wanted to see the map. By the time we finish with the beta next week, we'll all know this map like the back of our hands, and I cannot wait to jump into it. It has been said that to run from one side of the map to the other will take about five minutes of in-game running non-stop, which is compared to Fortnite uh, about seven minutes. So a similar size, if anything, a tiny bit smaller, which I think is good. I don't like maps that are too big. I think they've done a great job with the sizing and what I can see from the layout as well. In terms of named locations from previous Call of Duty games, Newtown's an obvious one. Cargo Docks is from Black Ops 2. Firing Range, obviously from Black Ops 1. Asylum, originally a old Call of Duty Zombies map. We've got Turbine, which I believe actually has turbines and will be similar to the Turbine map, also from Black Ops 2. Uh, Array is obviously a multiplayer map as well. And some of these locations will just be brand new and unique to Battle Royale. So it's really exciting. It's gonna be crazy merging all of these maps together. And this is it. This is the map, guys. Now, all of this information is courtesy of Game Informer. These guys have actually been to the Treyarch offices and gone hands-on with this mode early. And they are slowly drip-feeding us all of this information, which I'm collating together for you guys in this video. So we're just going to jump into it because there's so much to take a look at. So first off, let's dive into some information on what you can actually find in the map. So there's going to be three tiers of health and armor. You will start off with 150 health, just like you do in the Black Ops 4 multiplayer portion of the game. There'll be eight primary ammunition types, 12 equipment items, 17 consumable perks, 17 weapon attachments, 24 different weapons, and in total 125 items that can all be scavenged from around the map to build up your loadout, build out up your gear, and obviously try and get that number one finish. So a load of stuff to find around the map. In total, there will be four vehicles on the map. There'll be two land vehicles, one of them being a cargo truck, 
that can hold a driver, four passengers, and you can actually put items onto it as well, which we'll talk about in a second. There'll be an ATV, which is only one driver and one passenger. There'll be a sea vehicle in the form of a inflatable boat with one pilot and one passenger. And then also, as I'm sure you may have seen in images before, a helicopter, which contains one pilot and four passengers, all different ways to get around the map from one place to another quicker than normal and will certainly be a lot of fun and I'm not used to playing battle royales with a lot of vehicles that can get you anywhere so it'll be quite new to me hopefully integrate into the experience nicely and I'm excited to try it out. In terms of player count it sits at the moment for the beta at 80 but internal testing at Treyarch they've tried all the way up to 115 players so at the moment they're keeping it to a size where the game runs well we get a good FPS and everything runs smoothly but they say that they are looking to scale up at launch and beyond launch to try and equate for more players. Obviously we're used to seeing 100 players in the Battle Royale map but some games do it a little bit differently but 80 is the number currently for the beta next week which as long as it fills the map up nicely and everyone's got some good space and we still get some good action I'm absolutely fine with and if it goes all the way up to 100 that's awesome but that will happen over time as they test Battle Royale more. Now we've mentioned that you start at 150 health there'll be certain items to up your health and also add on additional armor. Some of the healing items include basic bandages, trauma kits, and full-on size med kits. And unlike Fortnite, where bandages only get you up to a certain amount of health, so 75, you can't go up to 100 with bandages, uh, in Call of Duty's blackout mode, Anything and everything can get you all the way back up to full HP as long as you've got enough of them to use So a little bit of a difference there I mentioned that there's gonna be perks that you can actually pick up and use in your character Perks are obviously a huge part of Call of Duty's multiplayer experience and will be available within the blackout mode Just some of the perks that have been confirmed and talk about include Paranoia, which gives you an audio alert when you're targeted by an enemy. Skulker, which is a perk that allows you to move faster whilst crouched and prone. Stimulant, that increases your max health by 100 points. That's absolutely huge. Outlander, which reduces damages from the circle, which we'll talk about in a minute. Increased speed whilst taking damage from the circle as well. Looter, which reveals nearby stashes and items. Iron Lungs, which allows you to hold your breath for longer whilst shooting with a sniper or diving underwater. And Consumer, which reduces time it takes to use items, heal or revive teammates by 20%. So some really, really good perks here. will change the game that you're playing massively if you have these equipped. So uh, I am can't wait to see all of them, how they will work out, and which ones are obviously the best. I'll let you guys know as soon as I know. Now, the Blackout mode will feature special chests. Now, it's unconfirmed how exactly you get specific weapons on the map. At the moment, it seems like they're just dotted around on the floor as floor loot. But there are chests on the map that contain special gold guns. Now, these uh, chests will be limited. Don't expect the amount of chests you see on the map like Fortnite, but instead, specific locations that could spawn a chest. Imagine more the frequency of spawning like uh, a, a vending machine, for example. And uh, if you find these chests and open them up, they can contain golden weapons, which are modified versions of the standard weapons, which come pre-equipped with uh, enhancements and attachments that are already really, really good and really, really strong, meaning that you want to find those chests, you want to get those golden guns because you'll be taking other people out a lot quicker. Now, obviously, how do we enter the map? We're used to diving in on the battle bus. Well, in Call of Duty Blackouts mode, everyone will be starting on a helicopter, a giant helicopter, apparently, because eight people are going to fit on it, which will fly over the map in random orders, just like the battle bus comes in at a random direction. And once you jump off the helicopter, everyone will be in a wing suit flying towards the map once you get to a certain height above the map you pull out a parachute and then obviously you will land and the cool thing is that wingsuit can actually be used later on in the map uh, certain places you can actually base jump from and throw yourself off and swoop onto the map as well so I like the fact that you can actually use that in the game as well as just a starting point as well which means that getting around the map will see multiple different ways too and I can't wait to jump out of that helicopter for the first time now zombies I'm sure you guys are interested in how they're actually linked into the battle royale mode the zombies will be AI controlled and they will actually spawn in four locations around the map 
you'll know where they are from a ray of light. A little bit like the mystery box ray of light that you'll see within normal zombies in Call of Duty. And if you do want to go up to them and you do want to kill them, you'll actually get some great rewards from them because they'll actually drop off specific zombie supply stashes from killing them which contain special, powerful, and rare items, which means that taking on the zombies is actually really useful, but I'm pretty sure if they That's hit you, kill. or they obviously go and attack you, they're gonna hit hard. And it's certainly embarrassing dying to a zombie rather than a human-controlled player, so there's definitely a bit of a risk-reward system there, but a really cool, like, Call of Duty-specific thing that we haven't seen in, in any other major Battle Royale mode, so I'm excited to take those zombies on, to be honest with you, but Stash sounds really, really good, and I wanna get some of those good weapons. So all the information we've covered so far has been like specific information with a little bit of detail to it. Next up, we're about to go through a lot, and I mean a lot of answers, from a interview with David Von Der Haar, the lead multiplayer designer. If you guys have ever heard of Call of Duty Black Ops, you'll know who David Von Der Haar is. And he basically is given a load of quick fire questions, and I've got the answers here, which collates all of them into a nice group, so thanks Charlie Intel for doing that. I'm just going to go through everything, give my quick opinion on them as we go through, and by the end of this, you'll have so much information on the blackout mode that you will be even more excited when you first click this video for the beta to come out and for you to try it for the first time. So if you guys are ready, if you guys are excited, give it a thumbs up and let's take a look at the final bits of blackout information we've got for this video. So, Treyarch are testing split screen for blackout mode, which is absolutely awesome. Treyarch is not ruling out adding other characters from other Call of Duty games outside of Treyarch's Call of Duty brand, which is very exciting. So we could be seeing Modern Warfare themed, Infinite Warfare themed or even World War II themed characters brought into the character roster for Blackout mode. Blackout will have limited timed events where you can use and unlock certain content which could be characters or even certain weapons available within the Blackout mode. A bit like the high stakes event that's about to go live in Fortnite. So lots of bonus content planned for Blackout mode which is exciting. There is no plans for cosmetic based loot in Blackout mode and they do not have have rarity for different weapons. Instead, there is just different weapons you can pick up, customized, and add attachments to. Otherwise, they thought it was just going to get too confusing. So you could find, for example, an MP5 on the floor, but there won't be a legendary or common version that's just straight up an MP5. But then you could find a red dot attachment and extended mags to make it even bigger, better, and more powerful. There's actually going to be certain missions for characters and also weapons as you play through blackout mode. So as you pick up certain weapons and do certain things with it, like kill a certain amount of people, you'll actually unlock rewards and complete missions as you play. It's been confirmed that solos, duos, and as they call it, quads will be the game modes available. So one, two, and four players. And you can all trade weapons and switch weapons as you play as a squad or in duos to give each other different loadouts as you go along. Dead players will drop their stashes, which you can then loot and pick up, obviously. Just like all Battle Royale games, there'll be a circle that will shrink the map smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's possible that circle could land on a pack of zombies, which will definitely make for an interesting and finish and the circle will randomly get smaller all over the map they want it to avoid the edges of the map and also any large water areas so that includes the edges mean that the action will always be consistent and hopefully really interesting endings they say that blackout indirectly affects other game modes absolutely no idea how they don't elaborate on that but uh, interested to see how that works out. Helicopters spawn at helipads uh, or similar locations, so you know where to go to find them. Now, I mentioned this earlier, but you can actually put up to 20 loot items on the cargo vehicle. Remembering the cargo vehicle can hold you, the driver, and four additional players, so that is huge. Uh, which means you can drive around with a load of loot. I honestly thought that the shopping trolley would be able to do that within Fortnite, but you can't. So I'm glad that's a, a feature that can actually be implemented in Blackout mode. Players can hold two primary weapons. You've got to remember this is a Call of Duty game, so you won't be seeing people running around with five different weapons by the sounds of it. So keeping gunfights consistent to what we know in Call of Duty. When you win, there will be a victory quote, which is exciting. So can't wait to get my first victory in Blackout mode. Hopefully that's on Monday and hopefully it's as soon as it comes out. It will be a first person battle royale mode. It's not third person. Uh, the Call of Duty have tried third person in the past, but predominantly it is a first person shooter for all of you guys that are wondering. Obviously the beta that kicks off next week is all to do with just fine tuning, seeing what works, what doesn't work, so that for the full release, Everything is as consistent, as, as balanced as possible. So we may find some things next week that are extremely overpowered. And if we do, 
I'm definitely going to give them a go. <laughs> they won't comment on whether or not Blackout will ever be a standalone version of the game. As we know, Fortnite Battle Royale is available for free and is available for free to everyone. And then you could pay to get access to the Save the World portion of the game. Whether or not that, that, that will be available as a standalone for Call of Duty Blackout, at the moment there is no answer. So as we know, there are multiple specialists within the multiplayer portion of the game. And the specialist weapons can actually be found around the map. They specifically mentioned that Ruin's grappling hook can be found and used by any characters. You don't have to be Ruin. So another way to get around the map, another really cool feature and ability, and I can't wait to find all of these and, and just experience it for the first time. I keep on talking about it, but when the beta comes out, just it's going to be such a new experience. There is full damage, there are horns on vehicles, and you will get icons above your characters and teammates' heads, so you can get information, I assume, on their health and uh, how they're doing in the map, basically. There's no weather, uh, apart from the time of day and the light setting. Uh, they want everything to be clear and visible whilst you play the game, which I appreciate. No fog, thank goodness. There will be Nuke Town mannequins dotted around the Nuke Town Island, which is always fun. Whether or not there'll be an Easter egg linked into those mannequins, there was in Black Ops 3. Maybe there'll be one in Black Ops 4 as well. We'll have to see. Blackout mode will have emotes, as we come to see in all sort of battle royale games, for you to express yourself using game and just mess around with your friends. There is a specific melee weapon, which is a zombie's melee weapon that can be found in the Blackout map, which is exciting. Now, for the circle itself, obviously we're used to the storm in Fortnite and uh, apparently the circle outside of it will be Nova Gas um, uh, which originates I believe from the zombie side of things so you don't want to go in there obviously bad news how it will affect your health and how quickly it will affect your health we'll have to see but don't go in there because you're probably going to die not exactly related to Blackout but Prop Hunt may be added into Black Ops 4 multiplayer which is awesome I absolutely love that mode unfortunately there isn't cross platform play I think Fortnite has spoiled us with that ability uh, so that's a little bit disappointing but honestly doesn't really surprise me too much. There'll be 20 characters to choose from at Blackout launch, potentially 22, uh, and apparently all 20 at least of those characters will be available in the beta next week, so we're getting like pretty much the full version of the Blackout mode from what I can see next week. There's nothing being held back, which is great news. We're literally experiencing it in full next week. Apparently getting the game to run at consistent 60 FPS at the moment is a little bit on the wary side. Obviously they're limiting players to 80 to make the whole game as smooth as possible, but the target is for it to be 60 almost continuously, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the Blackout map. And from the people that have played the game, they say it looks great and definitely hidden that 60 FPS marker already, which is great news. Whew, you know what? I think that's everything. Um, there's a lot of information there. Hopefully you've enjoyed it all. Hopefully it's been concise and hopefully you're excited. As I said, next Monday I'm going to be covering and hopefully getting that very first Victory Royale or whatever it ends up being called within the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout mode. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. If you are excited, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my Black Ops 4 videos, I'll link to a playlist down below on everything that I've covered so far. And if I haven't said it enough, excitement levels are so high right now. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this informational video. Stick around for more Black Ops 4 videos obviously here on the channel. Have an amazing rest of the day. I hope this video has got you hyped and I'll see you with some Blackout gameplay as soon as it's available in the beta very soon. It's going to be amazing.